Hello and welcome to Lesson 2. This is Ron Plant, Le Grand Fromage, and we're going to show you a little bit about how to do a caricature that shows character, uh, which is more than just a, uh, a portrait. We want personality traits and facial features and uh, what our character is all about. As you can see here by the uh, caricature I did in the upper left of Woody Allen, we select a pose that shows the personality of the character. So rather than show Woody as a laughing uh, comedian, we show him as a angst-ridden comedian. Uh, and it it's typifies more what we think about as uh, a Woody Allen. Uh, our subject today is Dr. Jim Patton, who is in a, into a new venture and billing himself as the lazy but healthy, weak-minded, real-time audio cook. Uh, lazy uh, as, as, rela as in relaxed, healthy as in no grease burgers, uh, weak-minded as in the simple recipes that are easy to cook in real time, uh, which is you will be cooking while you're listening to his uh, podcasts. And he's an audio cook as opposed to a video cook, so you won't have to be pausing a video every 10 seconds uh, to perform the, the tasks. You can be cooking while listening to the audio. And that's where we will start. We will use simple drawing tools. The materials will be graphite drawing pencils, street pencils, as I like to call the yellow pencils with erasers, uh, and a kneaded eraser, whatever your favorite little drawing tools are. And uh, we will be doing this one in color, although caricatures don't have to be in color. Uh, this one will be, and we'll be using color pencils. Uh, all these materials were purchased at my uh, local dollar store. And of course, you can shop at the junk mart. Uh, or like our fr friend, the famous uh, Desert Coyote, you can buy your stuff from the nearest Acme. Uh, they probably have a website now. And color always adds interest, uh, but no need to invest in oil paints or airbrush equipment. Uh, the simple tools will suffice. You can work from a printout or photograph of your subject uh, or have your subject sit live for you. Uh, you may want to hold off on that until you're a little bit more experienced. Uh, it's a little more difficult. Um, and uh, the person's not in the room. If you use a photo, uh, the person's not in the room to uh, get upset with you at poking fun at the way they look. Uh, in any event, uh, start by looking for the fun basic head shape. Uh, have fun with it. Look for a geometric shape or a balloon shape or teardrop shape. In the case of uh, Sir Winston, a uh, peanut shape and uh, you know, exaggerate that, that head, head shape. Uh, and then look quickly for what hits you first and that's what you'll exaggerate. Usually we want to uh, take a, a really good look and actually see the subject. In the case of uh, Dr. Jim, his uh, bright blue eyes show up quickly as, as does the shape of his uh, beard and mustache and that's where we're going to start. You start by using your third eye to visualize the subject doing their thing. You want to have them um, in, a, in a setting that shows what they're doing, a skier going down a ski slope or someone who likes skiing and fishing, you may be skiing down the ski slope with a fishing pole, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, lightly sketch in all the details. A little action is always good and capture the subject's gesture. I've taken Dr. Jim and had him tilt his head a little bit and uh, lean with his arm up on the back of the chair to show that he's relaxed. Again, another one of the traits. And the background uh, shows this character and attitude. Check your layout and make sure that you're not forgetting anything. And also check your layout uh, for good drawing sense. Uh, in this case, I see a little bit is missing in the in the uh, right section and so uh, we're going to add more props and this is the best way to uh, show character and your 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 character uh, uh, by adding props we have a uh, everything that's necessary for this subject uh, the dish which shows uh, the cooking the recipe that's being cooked we can show uh, the audio part by uh, adding the the headset with the microphone and ear and earbuds um, of course, the mandatory little uh, standard uh, electronic lightning bolts coming coming out of the uh, earplug that show sound for some reason. We, we accept that. And the digital techie part where it plugs into the laptop. As for cooking, the wooden spoon will do it every time. And for real time, we're showing a clock in the background set for five minutes of five. Dinner time would be uh, discussed and or eaten at five and uh, here it is five minutes of five and he's just starting so it shows that uh, obviously it's an exaggeration to show that it won't take very long to cook this meal 
you may stop occasionally and show it to other people and see what they think. Uh, someone, someone who knows the subject, uh, um, I would probably avoid showing the subject uh, themselves uh, until you're completely done. Um, but uh, show it to someone who also knows the subject. You know, did I did I get the the, the uh, gesture correct? Uh, do I have the essence of this person, the uh, the humorous essence? And uh, then we want to continue working by adding color. Always makes a drawing special. And speaking of color, remember what stood out the uh, the first thing that hit us the most were the blue eyes. We make those in this case nice and crisp and clear, including that little bright spot that twinkles the eye. Uh, always sketch uh, using a very stroke, a thick stroke versus a thin stroke, a light stroke and dark strokes. Um, and this adds variety to your subject and your drawing and it also adds interest to the image itself. It might be good at this point to uh, take a peek at what you're doing for props and uh, some of the details you're drawing. Sometimes things can be misunderstood, particularly props. In the case of the bottles that I've uh, put to cover that uh, ugly blank space, um, if I didn't write the word vino and, and make it look like red cooking wine, if I didn't write olive oil on the bottle, uh, the two bottles might look like uh, the subject is a boozer or something. You know, It might look like uh, uh, a bottle of scotch or gin or something. So um, make sure that you're clear about what you do for your props. Uh, always make sure that you add and check these things as you're going along. Um, you want to add depth and volume, tones and texture. The depth and volume by adding shading and uh, the tones and texture are always important to a drawing. Uh, you show the uh, the hair tones, the, you know, a soft fuzzy stroke showing the hair and uh, blended uh, clear tones showing the skin. Uh, on the props too, but don't overdo it because uh, on the props because we want to make sure that the character is the foremost in importance. Touch up the details, uh, an erasure here and there, uh, which we always remember call uh, a drawing out. Uh, so you want to draw in some details, uh, refine them, and draw out things that uh, you want to cut back on their importance or take them out entirely. Uh, so when it's done, uh, assess it, make sure everything's there, go over your your mental notes and, and or written notes, and uh, if you think you're done, then it's time to sign it. And there you have it. The finished product. Um, hopefully uh, this will work well with the customer and please the customer and everybody will be happy. Submit the uh, finished project to your customer and along with a uh, handsome invoice. Speaking of which, uh, time for a shameless plug. I'm not above shameless plugs, after all. Uh, I joke that if you prefer having me do it for you, I'd be glad to do that. But seriously, if you'd like to have an original Ron Plant caricature of yourself, a loved one, or a celebrity, your favorite celebrity, um, just send it to me uh, at plantsart at gmail.com and uh, send me your contact information. I'll get back to you with... Um, a price list and uh, some details and a little bit of an order form. We'd be uh, happy to have your business and I'm sure you'd be happy to have one of our original caricatures. So that's about it for today. Um, we'll see you next time on Lesson 3. Uh, meanwhile, visit our website uh, anytime for all things design and art. And um, you can find some interesting articles to read and some tips and uh, just some fun stuff about art and design. So again, it's the artdesignvillageclasses.com and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.